Orangutan Center number two. So this is the stick insect, the pink wing stick insect that they've captured and Eddie's showing it to us. It's really quite large. And on the anterior most part of the abdomen, it has these spiky features. See the pink wings on it really well there. Really quite large. I've got it, I've got it, I got video. And we were very fortunate to see the Draco, the flying dragon. This is a lizard that has modified ribs that jut outward and function as little winglets that enable this lizard to glide from one tree to another. Showing us here the ironwood. These are the seeds from it? From the ironwood, yeah. Oh, okay, from the ironwood tree, what they carve the orangutans out of. Yeah. And here we have the ironwood tree. And here we see the ironwood tree. Its wood is so dense that it sinks in water. In, how endemic here? It's lowest, it's 
Yeah, the wood is very dense. This is a fungus here, yeah, Eddie pointed out to us. The side of the iron tree. So here Eddie's showing us the uh, rattan, as they say rattan. And in Indonesian it's called rotan. rotan. And so this is where that comes for making furniture and baskets, etc. And along this tree. What type of tree is this? This? Now here we've seen orangutan nest, and orangutans will make these daily to sit on, and sometimes they can have a roof over to protect them from rain, but they will make these during some during the day, some during the night, and it's a place for them to rest in the trees. And there at the center screen we have the stick insect, or walking stick. So here we see a staghorn fern, and Eddie, you're saying that people with an abscess can do what with this plant? Yeah, okay. seems to be a bit of a camp here. They're planting. They have trees here. Ulin. Uh-huh. Ulin. Ulin. Uh, oh, the iron tree. Yeah. Here we see cultured, very young trees. These are used in the reforestation project going on. I guess we can plant one. Tourists can plant a tree. Seven, Seven years old. old. Only this. They grow slowly. Exactly. Yeah. This other gentleman that we just saw talking there is one of our other mm -hmm. guides, Hakim. See all the potted plants here. Nursery place, mm -hmm. so where the tourists can take a part of the tree planting here. Okay. And most of the, the tree here is for the orangutan food. Like this one, mm -hmm. it's called in local nyatu. In Latin, it's called palakium sp. Oh. And it has a fruit that every primates like. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. When this fruit in season, not so many orangutan come to the feeding platform. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can we plant one? Oh yes, yes you can. Choose Absolutely. That. Mm -hmm. Are there iron trees to plant too? Yes, over there. Okay, good. I'd like to plant one of each, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be okay. fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, ini pohonnya tu. Yang disuke orang hutan bunga buah. So it's called in local nyatu. In Latin, it's called palakium mespi, and it has a fruit that every primates like, including orang hutan and pigtail macaque. Okay. Ini lanan, lanan cuma burung aja yang makan lanan. Buah lah, buah. So it's called in local lanan. It's also one of the finest uh, tree for the furniture, and it has a fruit that the birds like. Oh. Okay. Okay. Bang bang. Ten tamu, ten tamu mulai beruang, hijang, rusa. Makan di bawah, makan buah, bunga. Yeah. So it's called in local. Uh, luing ini makanan orang hutan. Kita bisa makan juga. It's called luing in local, and it has a fruit that edible for those. Siapa? Kehabisan papan. Oh, jadi trauma. Jadi ada orang berdiri lah. Which one's this one? Yeah. And we're walking through the reforestation area. Okay, this plant here is. Ampalas. 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 And you're saying the local people use this plant as a sandpaper to... Well, what type of things do they actually smooth down with it? It's uh, the iron root. Okay. The iron root. Because they made the, the blowgun out of uh, iron root. 
Huh. Yeah. The this, blow guns are made in this forest by the um, natives here, is that right? Is it? Out this of ironwood. Right. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, they, they use this kind of leaf to smooth the inner part, the hole. Huh. Okay. Ironwood. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 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 Apa-apa pen lama kita di mincing hal. Saya bikin lubang. Okay, good. There's your iron wood, John. All right. Yes. Okay, mom. This is for the primate fruit. All primates like this. Okay, mom. Natural. Okay, me open. Open. Okay, thank you. Good, sorry. Should I loosen this up a little bit? He said it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. All right. Just loosening it up. This four o'clock is give water. This is the 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 water. Okay, all that. So how do you feel having planted your primate fruit tree? Here we have an interesting mushroom growing on the forest floor. Okay, we're looking for tarantulas. So we, here we have a walking stick, also known as a stick insect, at night here in the jungle. Very nice. I hear all the fire ants, which really have a bite to them. We see them walking around on the forest floor. So this is a wolf spider. Right amongst all the fire ants here. And yet the fire ants are not bothering the wolf spider. This is a large um, might be a carabid or tenebriana beetle. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Kira nama latinnya gini. Hey, fly. Oops. So here we have a spider down here as well. That's like a, a small tarantula. Yeah. That's a beautiful tarantula. How did you find that, Eddie? It's just a uh, glowing thing. Yeah, it's and very it's attractive. The... Okay, so we found a very interesting frog here. Here we have some very large ants. These, these bite hard, do they? 
Oh yeah. It's like a cipher. You must. So we have a large daddy long leg hanging upside down in the air. There's another large spider we found. And here in coming up, we see a few more smaller spider species which uh, we did not determine exactly what they were at all. So here we have a caterpillar larvae, furry one that we are advised not to touch. making an orb web. Yeah. So it's a cat face spider. These occur around the world. You see the two little bumps on the anterior part of the abdomen? Those are like cat ears. And if you look at the abdomen, it has like a cat's face. The bottom of the face is at the posterior portion of the abdomen. See the cat face? Yeah. It's upside down now. Yeah. Well, try to build the right. Yes, gonna go to the center now. She should make a triangle. She'll put a web at the center and then she'll go all the way. Okay, center come to the bottom. See the cat face? Yeah. Yeah. Here we have. Although this centipede looks like a common house centipede from home, which are not known to be dangerous, Hakeem and Eddie assured me that this centipede, a cave centipede, had a very painful bite. It is thus an animal that needs to be especially well respected. Thank you.
Now the common wisdom for spiders that belong to the family Theraphosidae, the so-called tarantulas, is that a tarantula bite is usually never life-threatening to a human being. However, both Eddie and Hakim indicated that this particular species of tarantula, the orange-fringed tarantula, had resulted in at least one death of a small boy who was bitten by one of these in the Tanjung Putin National Park. We thought it best, therefore, to give this spider even more respect than we would normally give to any animal in the forest. It can be added that an individual who had one of these tarantulas as a pet got bitten by it and ended up in the hospital for two weeks, receiving treatment for heart palpitations as well as nervous and muscle problems brought on by the spider bite. So the ranger is bringing out the tarantula. Oh, excellent. Yes, very attractive species here. Jangan disenterin nyarat. This is probably a painted bronze tree snake. Painted bronze tree snake, and it appears that it might have died in a spider web, which is not impossible. Bats have been caught. Can kill a cobra. Can kill a cobra. But the venom doesn't work for humans. Oh. So here we have a giant forest ant. Eddie, you say these are quite painful when they bite, right? I couldn't remember what bird this was seen here roosting at night, but it was a fairly common species. Little Dariol here at night. Yeah, I see that.
we were lucky enough to have one good sighting of the saltwater crocodile. This individual must have been at least six feet long. And this species is the reason why it is very dangerous to try to swim in this river.
Thank you.